Today in this video, we are going to learn about two things. First is, if we want to turn on and off this contactor, then with the help of your cell phone from any corner of the world, how you can turn on or turn off this. I want to tell you about one more thing that if you want to operate this contactor only through this one push button, means when you press the push button, contactor turns on and on again pressing push button, contactor turns off. Then how you can perform this wiring and how you are going to connect this with internet will also going to be discussed. So friends, let's start the video. Whenever you want to turn on or off the contactor, you use two push buttons. On pressing start push button, contactor turns on and on pressing the stop push button, contactor turns off. If you want to operate contactor through mobile phone, then you have to use a Wi-Fi controller. Let us first discuss about what is Wi-Fi controller. Later we will move on to wiring part. This Wi-Fi controller I have now is manufactured by CNC company and you can see the model number here. If we connect this controller with Wi-Fi, then from any corner of the world, we can turn on or off this controller through our smartphone. As we can connect this controller with Wi-Fi, so we can easily set the timer for programming. I will explain this later. So along with this contactor, I will mount this Wi-Fi controller. Let us first understand the wiring. To operate this Wi-Fi controller, 230 volt supply is necessary. So I am using two wires right now, one for phase supply and second is for neutral power supply. Here you can find the L and N terminal. Connect phase supply to L terminal and connect neutral power supply to N terminal. We also have to provide neutral power supply to this contactor. So what we will do is, along with this neutral power supply, loop a wire. So I connected this wire here. Other end of the wire is to be connected to A2 terminal of contactor. On the top of this controller, you will find terminals of NO contact. You will get phase supply at this terminal of NO contact. So connect one end of the wire with NO contact. The other end of the wire is to be connected with A1 terminal to provide phase supply to turn on the contactor. As I told you in the starting that through this single push button, we will operate this contactor. Means using this, contactor turns on and by same push button, contactor turns off. To perform this, what we have to do is, look at this controller. You will find S1 and S2 terminal here. To these terminals, you have to connect this push button. Take both the wires of push button and connect with both these terminals here. I connect it like this. All the connections to operate this contactor through push button as well as through smartphone is completed. For now, I am connecting this lamp so that whenever contactor turns on, it will be noticed through this lamp. So I connected this lamp with this contactor. When I press start push button, you can see contactor turned on. On again pressing the push button, contactor turned off. It means through single push button, we can turn on this contactor and through same push button, we can turn off the contactor. Now I want to operate this contactor through smartphone. So go to play store app and search in the search box EWE link, write EWE LINK and search. You will find this result EV link smart home. Install this app. I already installed before, so I am opening this app. After installing the app, some permissions were asked by the app. Select agree to all the permissions. Now you have to log in here. Enter your mobile number and log in. I am skipping this process. This type of interface is displayed after sign up. Now simply click to add you will find an option as all device. Click on this, then select electrician. Here, you will find panel switch. And after this, here it is written all set. Click on this. Now it shows options to connect with Wi-Fi network. Means your phone as well as the Wi-Fi controller is ready to be connected with Wi-Fi network. Before connecting to Wi-Fi network, you have to see that in this controller, the LED which is blinking is blinking fastly or slowly. You can see LED is blinking very slowly. Press this setting button for 5 to 6 seconds. You can see that LED is blinking fastly now. If this LED is blinking fastly, then you can connect your smartphone with this controller. You have to first connect your phone with a Wi-Fi network. So I am simply connecting with my home Wi-Fi network. After connecting this, when I click to next, you can see here it is written looking for device. This is looking for a device to connect with the Wi-Fi network. Here tick is displaying means it is available. Our device is now connected with smartphone. You can see LED stopped blinking. I am clicking to done here. 
your device name is not displaying here you can change the name right now i am not changing when you click on this a button is displayed on the screen when you click on this button you can see contactor turned on on again pressing button contactor turned off you may be thinking right now that i am operating this through wi-fi but this is not right if i turn off my wi-fi network and turn on the internet network then from any corner of the world through my internet when i press this button light turned on or contactor turned on on again pressing button contactor turned off on again pressing contactor turned on with the help of the internet we can turn on or turn off this contactor from anywhere as i told you that as we can use this device with internet we can also use this device with timer in this application below is a option for timer when you click on this there is an option displayed to add the timer on clicking to this button i can set the timer here after how much time you want to turn on or turn off right now i am programming this for 1 minute and save this after saving the timer here it is written 1144 on reaching 44 this wifi controller turned on and this contactor also turned on i am going back turn off this go to timer again and turn on this 1 minute timer on reaching 45 this contactor will be turned on you just saw that it turned on through this timer you can program that after how much time contactor must be turned on along with this you can also schedule the time like when to turn on or when to turn off you can also use the loop timer and do the programming friends if you want your wifi controller to be controlled by alexa google homes etc then you can also do this for this just click on this profile icon and then select alexa or any other application you can link the device with this application and through your voice command you can turn on or turn off the device here i am not going to explain this as this is easy to perform friends i hope you like this video if you like the video do like share and comment on my video if you didn't subscribe then please subscribe my channel thanks for watching the video